This is Erica, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to know when I upload. So today we are going to be touring the island called Kuriko, and this is a five-star fall slash Halloween themed island. And the creator, Kayla, um, has mentioned that this island features a haunted house based on famous horror movies, including The Ring, Annabelle, and Alien. It includes a pumpkin patch, a spirited Halloween costume store, an apple picking or orchard, and an updated cemetery, and also a witchy outdoor library, a drive-in movie theater, and a bathhouse, and so much more. So I'm very, very excited to tour this island with you guys and see what this is all about. So we're here, and already I can tell Kayla has put so much work into this island. Wow, you can already see that they set this island at a time of day where it's, you know, kind of cloudy and dark and it fits the theme so perfectly. Wow, this is crazy. I love how it's, you know, kind of orange in the sky. And this is absolutely insane. I can already tell this is going to be an amazing tour. And yeah, there's the flag. Fits the theme perfectly. And who's this? Okay, so that's Kayla. And I love how she's dressed up as well. And this is her map. So it looks like there's Kayla there and her friends and her villagers. And it looks like there's no theme in her villagers, but they look absolutely amazing. They look so cute. I haven't seen this gray, I think it's a goat. I think it's a goat, uh, not sure. But uh, that's really cool. Never seen that villager before. And so that's the map if you're interested. And I love these pink and purple mums. It's really, really cute. And I absolutely love the leaf designs all over the pathways that she made. Um, these leaf designs are really, really cool. I have to know <laughs> the custom QR, the custom codes for these. These are really, really cool. And so over here, it looks like this is the haunted maze. And I love how the hedges already turned colors. I love how it's a little bit of a, of a musty green. And I also love the weeds, by the way. <laughs> the weeds at this time of year are actually really pretty, in my opinion. Um, they definitely add a cute effect to your island. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just a really cute touch to like kind of scatter around your island. Absolutely love that. And I love how each of the trees are different colors. And so we're just going to go over the beach area. These mushrooms are so cute. I can't wait until mushrooms grow on my island again. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait until they grow on my island so I could, you know, kind of scatter them around and have a really cute fall theme going. And yeah, I can't wait to kind of um, let the weeds grow on my island as well. And I love this beach area. 
it looks like there's a red, white, and blue thing going on over there. Okay, wow. The thought and like precision for that, for this uh, maze is just incredible. And I love the signs. Oops, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love the... I love that. I love how they did that over there. Um, so people can kind of trip and fall into the hole. And this pathway is incredible. And I believe, yep, this is the haunted house. And that's the witch's pot, I think. Um, this is a really cool furniture piece. And uh, I really hope I come across it. Uh, before Halloween um, and put it on my island. That's a really cool pot. I'm actually really, really intrigued. I really want that. I really want that pot. <laughs> and yeah, I love the design. I love the skeleton that she put there and I love the house and it's just, it's just very uh, definitely haunted looking. And this is just really, really cool. Um, I love the sign that they put up. And it's just a really, really cute entryway to the haunted house. And the tombstone right there is really cool as well. And um, yeah, I just, this pot is really cool. Okay. I love the black and orange roses. Um, I mentioned this in my previous video, but I really think adding, you know, flowers around your island that fit the theme you're going for is a perfect and simple touch to make and also really cost effective. Like, you know, planting flowers, buying flowers isn't expensive at all, unlike furniture. So I think things like this, like adding black and orange flowers if you're doing the Halloween theme. For me, I'm not doing a particular Halloween theme, but I am doing a fall theme on my island right now. And I planted a lot of orange flowers and that kind of helps. That really does help a lot, um, you know, to kind of uh, set the mood. And I believe this is the cafe. And this is so cool. I love how it's situated on top of a hill. So you really have a great view of the rest of the island. And it definitely adds dimension. Yeah, this really, really adds dimension to your island. Um, and I think it kind of adds an effect of your island being big. I think doing something like this kind of makes your island look bigger than it actually is. And I love the scarecrow. They really outdid themselves with the furniture pieces. And the black flowers over there. Yeah, they absolutely outdid themselves with the furniture pieces. Um, and having multiple people, I think, on one island really does help. Um, yeah. So that she probably keeps her DIYs there for people to take. It was pretty smart to have like a dedicated area. And I believe this is the stage. This might be the drive-in movie theater. Could be wrong, but this could be the drive-in movie theater. And I love the moon. The effect that this has. That's absolutely perfect. They placed everything perfectly. Wow. And the fake hedges right there. Um, or hay bales, I'm not sure. The trees perfectly. <laughs> the trees perfectly, you know, planted in the background. And the moon uh piece is absolutely incredible that is so cool they they have every furniture you can think of 
like every Halloween related, autumn related furniture you can think of. I'm pretty, it looks like they have it. Another scarecrow there. And that's the museum. Kind of like how it's kind of hidden, you know? It's a lot of people like to a lot of people like to display their museum, but I do like how they decided to kind of tuck it away. Another furniture mushroom piece here. I really, really like that. I like a lot of the islands that have mushroom pieces. I think it's really cute. Kind of like a fairy core, you know, um, if you will, but I think it definitely adds to your island if you're going for that autumn, you know, fairy core, cottage core theme. And this is the apple area. The apple orchard. And this is just absolutely incredible. I love the little bucket they have over there. And I like how, you know, the, the trees are kind of different colors. They're not all one, one shade. And this is a really, really cute idea. This is a really cute idea if you want to kind of maximize the space on your island. And I think, honestly, fruit orchards are really an all year round thing. They don't also have to be autumn. They can be, you know, even seasonal. So you can replant these even. And, you know, depending on the season, you can plant fruit trees according to the season in your hemisphere. So that is pretty cool. Um, you know, you can do the cherry trees if you want. Um, I know oranges are pretty seasonal in the winter time, um, depending on which hemisphere you're in. So that would be kind of cute to, you know, put in the winter. And this is the pumpkin patch. This is a clever way too, because Animal Crossing, unfortunately, right now, they don't have pumpkins. Um, you could do a custom path and create it that way. And I absolutely love this Kotatsu. This Kotatsu is so cute. I love how they added the little pumpkin design there and the pumpkin pillows. I think that's such a clever idea. Um, yeah, kotatsus are really, really nice for the winter time. Um, being half Japanese, I really, really enjoy going into the kotatsu and kind of just warming up my feet that way. Um, I really love it. I in real life. So um, if you guys haven't ever, you know, been in one, highly recommend. It's actually really, really nice on a cold day. So I like how they did that. I like how they added the teapots, the kettle, and I think it just adds a really cute area to this pumpkin patch. And this creator really did maximize their space. Like everything has something in it, which I like and it looks like every little place has a purpose. And this is the witchy themed library. And I love that. I absolutely love that. The little star fragment over there and the moon furniture. Um, this is really, really nice and really serene. I think that they just did an incredible job here. And a little statue there. Purple flowers. Also, if you guys know, um, what are those white flowers? Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious. Okay, so let's head on back. 
I might have seen everything, I'm not quite sure. The view here is absolutely incredible. Again, you can see the custom leaf patterns on the floor. Again, I think they just add a really cute effect. And this is really cute, a little relaxation area. Again, they utilized, you know, every little bit of their island. And I really like how, you know, they utilized the rock formation at the end of their beach. So that's really clever. Again, really, really nice. Um, that's a great touch. And I think this is the Eternal Garden, as I read on the sign. So the bamboo trees over here also have changed colors, which I think is really, really cool. Um, yeah, this is just really nice. Yeah, I like how the little, the top of the bamboo trees kind of browned a little bit. Um, really looks nice. And we're back at the witch or witchy library and a little bridge here. And I absolutely love these bushes, these seasonal bushes that have clearly bloomed. It's really, really nice. I like the, how the flowers are red here. So it adds a really nice autumn -y effect to the island. You can also transition to the wintertime too which is really cool. Um, again, the leaf patterns are so pretty. That is one thing I'm going to incorporate on my island, uh, to be honest. I think having these leaf patterns is really pretty. It kind of just makes the island look lived in. Um, and just makes it look very natural, you know, like the island's been there. And another leaf pile. I think that's a leaf pile that can catch on fire. Either way, really, really cute. And then another mushroom table and a witch pot. Another mushroom furniture. I really want these. I can't wait until um, I can put those on my island too. And this is just a really nice way to kind of incorporate those mushroom furnitures. Super cute. Oh, I love the bushes lined up like that. That's really pretty. Oh, okay. And this is the spirit costume store. And this is where it looks like they displayed all of their costumes. Again, some of them do look like they have some custom designs on it, like the blood stain on the dress right there. And it looks like they kind of bought a few other things from uh, the clothing store and kind of just displayed it. That's a really smart idea. I haven't heard or seen something like this before on someone's island, a costume store. I think that's really clever. And this must be a little snack area. And yeah, I must have gone through the whole entire island. The red trees are really pretty as well. They have a little sitting area there on the beach. And their campsite. Okay, cool. So they decided to put their campsite on the beach. And a little sitting area on the pier. Again, utilizing, you know, places that you wouldn't really think of. And I think decorating the pier again adds a little bit of an interesting factor. It makes the island really 
truly look lived in. A little palm trees lined up there. What? This is so cool. Um, I don't know what this is called. I think you can get this at Nook's Cranny. Um, I don't believe this is a DIY. I could be wrong, but I don't think this is a DIY. But it's really, really, really cool. Um, if I ever come across this, I'll definitely be displaying it on the rocks like this. I think that's a really cute idea. Um, I haven't actually seen furniture that big before. Other than the lighthouse, I, I, I don't think I have. That's just so cool. I think that's a glitch. If you guys see the um, sparkling image right there, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think I... I'm pretty sure I looked over everything. I think I have toured the whole entire island. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. I don't think I've missed anything, to be honest. Um, yeah. This is really, really nice. Again, I love the scattered leaves. I'll definitely be incorporating that on my island. Adding the little leaves everywhere while the leaves are falling. It kind of looks like it just lands there, um, which is really, really nice. There's a lot of um, bridges here that I've noticed. I think it definitely adds something interesting to the island again makes it kind of look bigger than what it normally would look like and we're back at the square and back at the plaza wow this is absolutely gorgeous and you can tell that they just put so much time and effort into this entire island and i can see why this island has hundreds <laughs> of hours work put into it and it's just absolutely incredible and so with that being said guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this island tour and i really enjoyed just browsing around again this island is called Corico made by kayla and i will be putting down the dream address code down below and if you haven't guys please subscribe and again turn on your post notifications and that will let you know when i upload i upload videos gaming videos once a week at least once a week so yeah it would mean a lot if you guys give this a thumbs up if you liked it and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.